Once upon a time, in the most nerve-wracking adventure of my life, I found myself on a deserted highway. It was dark, and the only company I had were the dim headlights of passing cars that seemed to add to the eerie loneliness of the road. Normally, I enjoy driving at night for the calm traffic, but this night was different. Feeling tired, I decided to stop at a motel for some rest. The motel looked more like a ticket booth than a regular place to stay. To get my room key, I had to slide my credit card and ID under a glass booth. The person behind the counter gave off an unsettling vibe, making me feel uneasy. Finally in my room, I noticed an odd smell, and the old carpet added to the unpleasant atmosphere. The water in the shower had a strange odor too. As I was getting ready for bed and watching TV, there was a sudden knock on my door. Peering through the window, I saw a burly and disheveled man with questionable intentions. Reluctantly, I asked him through the closed door about his purpose. He claimed the motel manager asked him to fetch me due to a credit card issue. Something felt off, and when I said I would call the police, he started shouting and threatened to have me evicted. Feeling trapped, I dialed the police while he continued knocking on the door. Luckily, the motel attendant and a nearby guest heard the commotion and called the police as well. When the officers arrived, they arrested the man, revealing he was a convicted felon with a history of violence, including murder. It turned out he had posed as a motel employee before, leading a guest out of her room, assaulting her, and causing severe injuries that led to her death. He was now sentenced to life imprisonment. This terrifying encounter left me with a deep aversion to staying in motels, but life had more surprises in store for me during a business trip. My company arranged for me to stay in a high-rise hotel, a new experience for me. Excitement filled me as I entered the lobby and rode the elevator to the top floor. The cityscape view from my room was breathtaking, and I spent the day exploring it. However, as night fell, my planned companions refused to accompany me back to the hotel. Left with no choice, I returned alone, though my previous motel experience had made me wary. Although it was my first time in this hotel, an uneasy feeling lingered. I sensed someone following me on the way back, an eerie feeling of someone sitting beside me in my car. I dismissed it as imagination, but upon reaching the hotel, a peculiar sensation overcame me. Despite its size, the place seemed unusually quiet and devoid of activity. Upon entering my room, I noticed my belongings were not as I left them, intensifying my unease. Contacting the front desk, they denied any tampering, but my anxiety grew. Though skeptical of supernatural entities, I felt an eerie presence and impending doom. As I settled down for the night and turned on the TV, faint music reached my ears. It sounded like someone in the neighboring room was playing a radio, with a gradually slowing cadence resembling a recorded courtroom proceeding. Curiosity peaked, I wondered who would listen to such content. This strange auditory spectacle continued, accompanied by another sound resembling a drumbeat. My anxiety escalated, making sleep impossible. I called the front desk again, reporting the loud radio in the neighboring room. To my surprise, they claimed my room was the only occupied one, despite the hotel having numerous rooms. Now, my mind raced to the scattered items I had noticed upon entering. Feeling an urgent need to leave, I debated whether to stay or go when suddenly, my room's window began to rattle as if someone were gently tapping on it. Petrified, I sat there, paralyzed, as the tapping ceased. When the weather improved slightly, I mustered the courage to approach the window. Despite my fear, I decided to investigate. As I neared the window, a deafening sound, as if something had violently struck the glass, reverberated through the room. The glass shattered, and to my horror, a grotesque figure entirely clad in black began crawling in through the broken window. It was the most terrifying sight of my life. Terrified, I sprinted toward the door but collided with a glass table in my haste, causing me to tumble and lose consciousness. I woke up in the hospital surrounded by my colleagues and the hotel manager. Miraculously, I had no physical injuries, but I needed six stitches on my head and hand from the fall. After being discharged, I approached the hotel manager for an explanation. 
Reluctantly, he disclosed that the window had shattered, prompting their intervention. Knocking on my door and receiving no response, they used their master key to enter, finding me unconscious by the table. When I asked if anyone else had been in the room, the manager assured me I was the sole occupant. Recounting the entire ordeal, the manager found it implausible, but he acknowledged previous reports of strange occurrences in that room, though nothing quite like this. The incident left me so traumatized that I vowed never to stay alone in a hotel again. Despite escaping physical harm, the mental toll was significant. Subsequently, I continued staying in hotels and motels, but I always sought the company of others, wary of being alone. These two episodes, among many hotel stays, remain some of the most impactful moments in my life. They serve as a constant reminder to be cautious and listen to my instincts, even when things seem ordinary. Life has a way of surprising us, and it's crucial to stay vigilant, especially during those moments that feel like a page out of a suspenseful novel.